would be extinct, just like 99% of all species to ever call our little planet home. That's correct, we've had a 6% uh, reduction in eastern gorillas over the last 20 years. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, there are over 19,000 species currently threatened with extinction. The mountain gorilla is one of four remaining subspecies and are located in only two isolated locations around the globe. Everywhere I go, the root cause of the dwindling numbers of these species is human population. I will say that in five years you'll see half the numbers that you see today. We used to have wild bison. They're gone. We used to have lynx, the cat, gone. As of today, South China tigers haven't been seen in the wild in over 25 years. Basically, for wildlife criminals, the tiger is worth more dead than alive. There's renewed uproar tonight over that hunter who killed Cecil the lion. It was a dentist from Minnesota who paid $50,000 to shoot the lion. Where can you find some of the best big game hunting in the world? A lot of folks have noticed it, but it's been a well-kept secret. What's going on in these places? Seven hunting days, two traveling days. It includes four trophies. Excellent landscape, excellent leopard. You do want to be for your zebra? Hunters are the are the main conservationists in this in this whole equation. Can you call yourselves conservationists when it's your intent, the thing that's driving it is, is to hunt the animals and to kill them? Absolutely. Is this a future we want to leave for our children and grandchildren? Do you love these animals? Absolutely. How can you kill something you love? I don't want to see them on hunting ranches. I don't want to see them dismembered. I don't want to see their value in body parts. Tourists can get closer to these beautiful creatures than they ever could in the wild. What's the message? I guess there's more than one sentence there, but what, what is it that you're so desperate to have people know? That we are trashing this planet, that we have to get together before it's too late. And so what can we do? Well, we can choose a better future. Done a tremendous job in restoring the fragmented forest and bamboo forest that the panda relies on. Conservation can work if we get all the right players to do the right thing. A lot of people understand and they care, but they feel helpless because they don't know what to do. Try to not use as much energy, um, be more conscious when they're um, throwing things away, try to recycle, just small things that maybe um, you, you don't think about or maybe you take for granted. Crazy little mini habitats around your garden and enriching it with flowers for bees and butterflies and burying plants and shrubs for birds. This is the, definitely the most satisfying part and the bit I enjoy the most, so... <laughs> this makes it all worthwhile, really. Every one of us matters and makes a difference every day.